Sky Cam wasn't on. Studio mode. In studio mode. Uh, or you can take that sky cam away. Okay. Hey. ready just uh, making sure all of the bells and whistles are going it's a beautiful day beautiful day in the neighborhood glad to see everybody whoa this is Simeon from praisetracks.com and Today is going to be a beautiful month of May. Make sure everything is uh, <laughs> straightened up and straightened out. Oh, man. Yeah. Okay. Wow. 
I hope everybody's having a great day so far. I'm gonna fade this down. It's just a beautiful day today. So much, so many things going on. <laughs> And I, I told uh, told Debbie like just right before the live stream, I just felt like a a whole whole flock of butterflies just go boom, and it's just like that's what uh, that's what happens. Uh, you know, I get so excited about the, not only getting ready for the live streams, but um, but when it's like fifteen minutes, twenty minutes before, it's just like ah. So it's good to see everybody in the chat. Uh, Matthias and Jeff Bird, Matt, Steph, other species, and uh, Rick in K's Music, and my good friend Nigel. Um, we've got uh, just so much going on. And Alaria, good to see you. Uh, Yannick. Just so many cool things. I feel like I'm walking into like a buffet and you've got so many things in front of you and you just don't know where to start. And that's uh, that's a good thing to get into. But uh, there's a lot of things that we're gonna cover today. And the Wheel of Fun is back. Yes, the Wheel of Fun is back. And uh, so the link to enter the Wheel of Fun is gonna be in the description of all the videos. And I'm gonna put the Wheel of Fun to work today. Uh, we are going to, uh, you know, I thought about um, all of the things going on uh, with giving the, uh, doing the live giveaways. And it was like, I wanted to just kind of bless the guys, you all that are here live. And then, uh, you know, we just had some technical glitches with, uh, with the night bot picking the winner. And I just said, well, let's just go back to the Wheel of Fun. That's, uh, that's a lot of fun. And you know, yes, it is almost uh, May the 4th, uh, Frank, yeah. So so the reason why, um, okay, oh man, okay, so, okay, so let me, let me see. Just do a little house cleaning here. Um, <laughs> da, 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 da. I, wanna, I wanna be sure everybody can see. Um, everybody's, um, yeah, I'm gonna just make sure, I'm gonna copy this and da 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 da. Make sure everybody can see our comments and things. I just updated the, um, updated it. Now let's see, are we gonna, are we gonna be able to do this? Ah, oh, come on. Yes, there we go. Okay, great. So yeah, it is almost, um, it is almost Star Wars day. And the reason why I'm doing the live stream today instead of um, tomorrow, um, yeah. The reason I'm doing it today instead of tomorrow is that um, tomorrow uh, also happens to be the National Day of Prayer. It's the first Thursday in May. And I'm going to be participating in that um, and opening up the uh, the event, blowing my shofar. I've got a uh, well. Let me show you. Let me show you my shofar. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. You know, you know, we've got a saying around the house. Uh, you know, expect the unexpected. Um, so, um, yeah. So, so this is a shofar that uh, I was in Israel a few years ago, let's say about 1993. And, and I mean, I tell you, if you've never been to the, uh, to the Middle East and the Holy Land, uh, it is a fabulous, uh, it, it is an, is it a life, it's a life-changing experience. And so, um, yeah, we're going to, uh, you know, I usually blow the shofar on New Year's Eve, and I also do it on Rosh Hashanah and just special occasions. And tomorrow I'm going to be blowing it uh, to uh, open the uh, National Day of Prayer event here in town. Uh, and I'm very excited to do that. Uh, and then also uh, the potential of probably sampling this in the future is uh, it, that's a real possibility. Um, so 
<laughs> There's a little preview. So let's see, we're having some, okay, so K, so the wheel doesn't let you join. Um, I'm not sure why that would be. Um, let me see. I, you know, this is just, this is just part of the, part of the fun here. So, oh yeah, <laughs> that would be crazy. You know, Kay, you might have to, um, okay, so Kay, if you've already joined, uh, if you did it before, uh, I guess when it opened up again, uh, you, you only have to do it once. You only have to do it once. So, um, okay. Okay, and just, uh, okay, we're going to get, Usually it takes me about the first 15 minutes to kind of calm down and get started because I just want to make sure we get everything covered. So as far as the Wheel of Fun, so you just have to sign up uh, one time and and I am going to reset the wheel every 60 days. So this is May the 3rd, uh, so July 3rd. Uh, so like, let, let's just say the 1st of July. So every two months at the beginning of the month, I'm going to reset the wheel. Uh, so that way, uh, it's just going to give everybody a chance to participate, and then we can reset it and uh, start again every 60 days. So um, just check it out. Oh, you know, okay, so that's, so it, you, can still, you can still sign up uh, because what I didn't realize about the, the way that the wheel is tied into the Google form is that when you enter, it'll automatically update. I thought I had to go and manually update it with new entries, but that's one of the cool things. It'll automatically keep things um, uh, up, updating. Yeah, less if you've, yeah, because I, I reset the wheel. So if you, uh, even if you entered b before, uh, the wheel just got reset. Uh, so you'll have to enter again. So every 60 days, uh, you know, the wheel's going to be just clear, cleared out. And so you will have to go ahead and enter enter again, like every 60 days, just to make sure the entries and things are are taken care of. So, um, yeah. And if you don't see your name on the wheel, uh, it it kind of limits the the number that it's that is displayed. But if you've registered, uh, then you're you should be good. So, yeah, you won't see your name if, unless it's. Uh, let me see, and I can even tell you um, uh, what. Uh, it just only displays just a certain number. So let's see. So, um, yeah. So it's just gonna. It's just going to display just a few names because one time there was like a whole bunch of names and you couldn't hardly see. But if you registered, uh, you're going to be ready to go. Um, <laughs> you know, David, I, somebody somebody signed up and used my name, uh, but I'll know who it is because it, I'll, I'll see it in the spreadsheet. So, um, yeah. So if you don't see your name, if you don't see your name, and as long as you entered the form uh, during the, you know, when it reset in May, I think I turned it back on on May the 2nd, something like that. So as long as you've, as long as you've entered uh, it's, it'll, you, you are in. Okay. So let's do this. Well, while we're talking about the wheel of fun, <clears throat> let's go ahead and spin it and get things started. So a few weeks ago, um, I did, uh, fracture sounds, fracture sounds, uh, roundup for piano day. And, and so I got an extra Woodchester license, uh, that they were able to supply. So what, I, what I'll do is I'm just going to go ahead and spin the wheel and give someone a chance to uh, win the Woodchester piano from Fracture Sounds. One of the things too about the Wheel of Fun, if you do win a prize and you wanna put your name back into the pool, uh, you know, that's fine, you know, uh, if you're live. So yeah, don't worry about it less uh, because it, because I checked, I, okay, so let me just see. I'm just gonna see, I'm just wanna see. <laughs> This is this is part of it. And once we get all this stuff out of the way, I think uh, we'll be good going forward once everybody. So I'm just going to go to the uh, to the sheet where everybody has signed up and I'm just going to make sure that uh, that a couple of guys that your names are on there. So thank you guys. This is going to be a fun stream. I'm looking I'm looking forward to it. Um, so Les, I do see your name in the in the list. 
and um, I see Frank Bell also. So, um, and then Cade, let's see. Cade, I do see your name. Um, I, I do see your name there. So I, I, I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave the spreadsheet open just to make sure. But uh, all of you guys should be there. So let's go ahead and spin it and give somebody a chance um, to, uh, to win. Okay, so Nigel, you just signed up and uh, that's great. So I'm just gonna see Nigel if you're on, if you're on there. And you know, this is fun. We're, we're a big family here and, and we just wanna make sure yeah, so it's like if, if you know, Nightbot wasn't working, and, you know, we might have some issues with this, but hopefully not. So, um, okay. Dun, 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 dun. I'm going to see here. Make sure. Okay. Let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Here we go. Let's go ahead and spin it um, and have some fun and kick this off just right. Here we go, three, two, one. And this is for the Woodchester piano. Okay, so two Canucks. So I'm gonna, <laughs> my shofar is in the way here. So the Woodchester, so two Canucks. Um, just making sure I, I remember that. So congratulations. Uh, it's so good. And I think I'm hearing myself over here. Okay, so it's all good. <laughs> Congrats, two Canucks. Uh, bless you. And I think, um, I think that two Canucks is also a channel member. So it's going to be... Uh, that's uh, so nice, and thank you so much. Okay, so the Spitfire, the Spitfire Audio Spring Sale is still going on just for a little while longer, and I think tomorrow is the uh, the last day for that. And so make sure if there was anything, um, yeah, if there was anything that uh, that you were thinking about, uh, you've got one more day to do that, and uh, you know, forty percent off of everything. So make sure you check that out. And then Labs, they just introduced a brand new, fun, uh, free library from uh, Look Mum No Computer, Obsolete Machines. And that's a fabulous uh, free instrument in the Labs series. So that's wonderful. And then, um, so Sonya Score. Uh, Sonya Score has uh, released Nordic Spheres. And we're gonna take a quick look at this. We didn't get a chance to look at it last time. Uh, but I thought I would um, go ahead and just uh, take a look at it. Uh, it's still on introductory price. And, and so I want to just play a little bit with this. And then we've got a copy of this to give away, uh, which we'll do as well. So let's look at uh, Nordic Spheres. And this is more like of a, a sound design, uh, atmospheric type of, um, type of instrument. <laughs> What I, yeah, and what I want to do, I'm going to go ahead and increase my buffer size because uh, we've got lots of stuff going on. Um, I've got, I usually run it at 128. I'm going to run it at 256 and see if that will help us to kind of mitigate some pops and clicks with everything going on. So, okay, we're resetting, resetting, resetting. There we go. Okay, that's good. So that'll kind of help us some. We've got four engines. And Sonya Score uses these uh, multiple sound engines that you can blend that are doing so many different things.
Each one of these is doing something different and we can kind of mix each one of them. It does, it's got a lot of granular things going on. And then we've got that center wheel controlled by CC1. And every once in a while, it'll jump up, that CPU will jump up, but it sounds fabulous. And you've got so many things going on under the hood. And <clears throat> we've got the different uh, arpeggiators and let's see what we have here. Let's go pick up another snapshot. Let's go to the Aurora Borealis. And you could actually see some of the Northern Lights even as far south as where I am. got the animation and the blending. And when you click on there, you can um, choose what goes in. Tonals, effects, percussive. And you've got so many different sound sources. Very atmospheric, very Nordic, let's say. There's so much you can do. And look at all of the different uh, presets that we have. Let's go to um, Cold Breath. And it's Bob Dedes, good to see you, man. Yeah, this is uh, this really focuses on a lot of sound design elements. <clears throat> Just amazing. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. So, so that might be something we can do down the road. That would be crazy, less for sure. Uh, let's go to pulses. Let's go to Hubble. There's so many there, and I just kind of look at the list and one jumps out and that's where we go usually. So this is a pulsing. This is just very... Yeah, yeah, Andromeda Icy, and uh, yeah, listen to that. And it just, <clears throat> it just evolves. So you hold it down, it's just not something that's gonna just, it just keeps going. And that's what I love. That's what I appreciate about a lot of, <clears throat> a lot of developers that uh, don't just have one shot type of sounds, but they have, they have the, um, the motion and all of the stuff going on inside that just keeps it uh, keeps it going. Let's go to um, another pulse and look at that. It just keeps going. Let's go to Voyager One. That sounds good. I just wanted to give you a quick taste of this. So you're holding it down and you've got this underscore type of thing going on. And then you can just jump up here. And I like being able to kind of play in it.
you play with that CC1. And then it gets down in that low end. That's a lot of fun. Okay, let's see. Yeah, and so we've got uh, each in these bottom two engines have the um, the arpeggiators going on and the different uh, step sequencers and look at that all of the different things that you can do uh, with the waveforms and just animate it. Okay, let's do a couple more of these uh, pulses. Dazzled by the moonlight. Brian, thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Let's go to the next song and see if we can. Uh... Let's see here what we got. Okay. Listen to that, it just keeps keeps building and layering. Let's go up here. Not sure. I'm looking. Um, I'm looking to see if you can do that, and I'm not seeing where you can. Um, I think you can pan, but I'm not seeing. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not seeing where you can actually go in and transpose. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this is where you can kind of set up your CC controls and. Um, yeah, the arpeggiator, uh, the arpeggiator lives inside of each engine. And so when you, okay, let me see, I can show you this. Um, so when you, um, when you go down to click on this, this, this icon here inside of the sound sources, it uh, allows you to bring up the, the step sequencers and you can have the effects. And let's see, there might not, there might be, yeah, I was thinking there might be a transposition here. So you've got um, all of the things for the step sequencer, and you can select the um, the type. It's all hidden right there in that little um, in this little icon here for each one. You can go up here, and I think the first two, the top two engines, use um, the uh, Different uh, different implementations of this. Well, no, no, yeah. It just uses something a little different, possibly. But there's it gives you so much that you can do in each um, <clears throat> in each thing. So it's uh, really fun. Let's let's do another one. Let's go into the spheres. Let's go to icy skies. I love the attention to detail, like just with the visuals and different things.
can't forget to use CC1. I get so caught up in the sound. Yeah, if you start throwing a bunch of notes at it, I see that CPU going whoop. Um, <clears throat> they are so cool. What they, cool. Yeah. They do such a wonderful job. I agree. Um, yeah, it is just, uh, it is amazing. They, they have a way of digging down inside of uh, contact and bringing out They bring out so much. <laughs> it is cool. Um, okay, and then we can do the snapshots, but we can also use the um, the browser and go through and you know do some filtering. Let's do hard, weird, um, and do um, like sixteenth fill, and then we've got these three that um, we can check. Uh, distant lights. Let's just see that. Yeah. So yeah, Sonya Score did help develop the uh, the new Opus engine, the performance engine. Um, I think that is really a cool collaboration. Um, yeah. So this is. Uh, Yeah, so the gears lets us uh, assign our CC controllers to dynamics, motion, and the grains and animators. Uh, so there's a lot of granular uh, synthesis going on uh, under the hood. And I think um, that's what pushes the contact engine to, uh, oh, wow. Let's just pull up, uh, let's just go through and browse through something else. Let's go animated. Soft, 16th, um, magical, why not? So we've got, um, okay, so this is, uh, so somebody might help, have to help me pronounce um, <laughs> Hand, Hansel Schorschenstein. Okay, let's might as well choose that one. <laughs> <clears throat> and um, hear what that sounds like. Okay, so here we go. Okay, let's start low. Handel Storzanten. Handel Storzanten. I, I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I wish there was hooked on phonics for Swedish. They have this glassy, organic um, tone to them. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Very beautiful. Let's just do one more, and we'll. Um, and you can actually save your own presets too if you've if you've gone in, and. Um, Let's see, I want to do some more animated 16ths and let's do hard and dystopian. Okay, yeah, so that just gives us uh, Hostloff. Um, yeah, yeah, so I might need to test Google Translate on that. That sounds funny. <laughs> ooh, ooh, event, the event horizon. Ooh, thank you, Justin. See, man, there you are. There you are. Now, this is Hostloff. So it's airy, glassy. Ooh, listen to that. Bring in that CC1. 
rustling leaves. So you've got some, um, you've got some sound effect, uh, some natural sounds blended in. That is so cool. So, so that's a little sampling of Nordic Spheres and uh, make sure you check out the links in the description. Um, I think I, I put the link in the description for this. I didn't know if we were gonna have time to do so much, <clears throat> but, um, but if it's not in the description, just go to sonyascore.com and check that out. So let's go ahead and give, um, let's go ahead and give a copy of Nordic Spheres away to someone. Um, I'm just so excited. And the Wheel of Fun is, is a really cool way to do this. So, um, so here we go. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Let's try. Uh, ooh, okay, okay, let's do this. So I'm going to do this. I just want to make sure that um, I'm just going to reload everything and make sure... Um, Make sure it does get populated because um, we just want to make sure. There we go. There we go. We're going to get everybody, everybody involved here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So here we go. Okay. <laughs> let's get this. Uh, let's get it going here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here we go. <clears throat> Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna we gotta show. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Three, two, one. This is for Nordic spheres. Ooh, that's cool. Oh man. Okay. So Jose, Jose, you, uh, you are the winner. Congratulations. Congratulations. And, and again, this is not tied in with the, with a chat bot or anything. This is actually, this is tied in to the, uh, to the entry form directly. So, uh, totally random and congratulations on winning Nordic spheres. That's really cool. Okay. Congratulations. So much fun. Oh boy. Okay, here we go. Congratulations. Okay, so now let's um let's move um let's move on. I think Jose, yeah, cuz we're resetting everything. We're starting fresh. So if you won something uh last month, that's okay cuz we're we're going to start fresh and have a good time. <laughs> We're going to have a good time together. Okay, so now, oh yeah, this is going to be fun. Congratulations, guys. So, so now we're going to go, we're going to go west, young man. Uh, and I am so excited to, uh, to see Westwood keep coming out with these fabulous instruments. I want to be able to make sure I'm hearing it, hearing myself good. And this is the electric home piano from Westwood. Uh, it's, uh, I think, only about 70 of these were made. And it looks kind of like a Rhodes in a beautiful um, cabinet. And we can just kind of take a, take a look. I love the website design. They've just really done some cool ways of doing this. They've actually recorded uh, some of the samples directly to cassette. And you can read so many uh, more experiences about uh, this. And as we look, we, we're going to notice that they built a brand new framework, which is going to be fantastic. 
uh, going forward to uh, be able to allow them to release more uh, instruments more frequently. So let's just dive in with um, with this. Man, okay, so it's so good to see you. There is Rob, Rob himself, and I think um, I think Adrian is also in the chat with us. So um, they're in the they're in this with us together. So if you've got any questions, um, if you've got any questions about um, this as we're playing through this this instrument, uh, go ahead and um, just put it in the chat. It's good, so good to see you. I love this new layout, and I'm running this in uh, Contact Seven. Um, no, no, this is not. No, this is not seven. This is just the. Um, yeah, this is just the regular Contact Six. Okay, but I've been been experimenting with running it in Contact Seven as well. So um, it just comes with one NKI, and that's what we've loaded, and that gives us access to everything. All of these presets, the snapshots, and all of that. Okay. And we've got a copy to give away to someone. Okay. I still got Nordic Spheres going here. I'll say I'm gonna mute, uh, I'm gonna mute everything that I'm not using here. Okay, so here we go. And the first thing that I usually do, <laughs> the first thing I usually do is I go find where the pedal noises are and I just kind of turn those down a little bit and also the key noises. Um, and let me see something here. I think I, I actually got something else in here too. Yeah, I've got effects going to something that I might show you um, if we've got time. But normally I just, uh, I turn the pedal uh, pedal noises and key noises down because sometimes it just gets, uh, especially my pedal. It My pedal is a variable pedal. If you barely touch it, it just triggers everything. So I tone it down a little bit. Now we're gonna settle in here. And this is just the basic um, first electric piano patch. And it's just got such a nice tone. So I'm just gonna, let's just get into it. That's what I love about the SL88 is that um, it can really get into those softest of dynamic layers. And if an instrument has those, it'll go find them. And that's where some beauty comes on. BF, good to see you, welcome. dig into it and get into that get into that stuff and back it back down listen to how soft you can get this I'm just gonna play soft and then just gradually just build up
loved when I got up here, you got the, uh, it almost sounds like a, um, a glockenspiel. It's got that delicate bell sound. Yeah, and that's just the, um, <laughs> that's just the electric piano. That's just the first sound source, and that's uh, incredible, uh, incredible. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's my, okay, let's just reset this. That's one of the, I'm having um, window capture issues. I'm just trying to adjust the, um, adjust the um, microphone. Yeah, and it, okay, that's it, Cade, yeah. Celeste, it's uh, Celeste. Um, yeah, very cool. And we've got uh, different controls for uh, expression, dynamic range, and then the texture volume. And this is amazing. Yeah, yeah, it is, it is. Yeah, it is, I totally agree. <laughs> okay, so let's go to the uh, soft. Okay, and we've got, um, we've got like eight different mic signals here uh, that we can play with. So this is the other thing I appreciate about this interface. So a lot of contact libraries, um, a lot of contact libraries, they, they just, when you make a change on the main preset uh, and you go to another preset, it, it doesn't save it. But what I love about this is that when, when you make a change, uh, when you make a change here, uh, so let's say, you know, we make a change and we, we get a mic set up or whatever. Then when we go to another snapshot or another sound, then all of this stuff kind of stays uh, it seems like it stays well when you when you choose a snapshot it changes but i'm just like when we when we can go through the different sounds it's um it just kind of helps to stay the same and i really like that so let's go back to electric piano <laughs> i think i just discovered that uh yeah the snapshots will change all of these but as long as we're in this this page we can just kind of mess around and experiment and then possibly save our own snapshot with these new settings. That made sense, didn't it? Okay, so let's just go ahead and um, let's just turn off some of these um, some of these mics and go, let's turn on the cassette. I'm really curious about what this cassette, um, uh, well, the tape, yeah. I'm real curious what the tape sounds like. So let's just turn the tape up a little bit. Now this is captured directly from the built-in cassette recorder you saw on the website on the inside of this piano, uh, which I think is kind of cool. Uh, so you get a really wild saturation. just kind of crushes it a little bit and then we've got uh, reverb that we can got a little studio reverb there yeah Adrian it's got uh, it's just got a little personality that just kind of comes through with that um, Let's go ahead and go through some of the snapshots and explore some of these um, a little bit. So, oh, you, yeah, you know what? Let's just, I think these basically just kind of take you through um, some of these, yeah. Okay, let's go to the muted bars. Um, yeah, let's do it. Now I'm going to bump up, um, let's see something here. Okay, so if we um, bring this dynamic down a little bit, 
I was going to increase the velocity uh, that coming out of the keyboard just to get into that, but I think we can just drop this down. That's fun. Okay, <laughs> wow. And again, you have a personality down here on this end of the keyboard, and then another personality comes out up here at top. You've got really a really fat sound. And then you come up here, and it's it's bright and cheery. And in the middle, it's kind of like a marriage of, of both together. Yeah, so it's got so much personality stretched out across the keyboard. Um, and then we've got the soft tone bars. Let's see, make sure. Yeah, let's go to the preset uh, soft tone bars and make sure we've got that going. That's so cool. And then we look over here, and then we've got effects that we can um, we can just shift, shit, do do some tonal shifts, uh, some delays, uh, and stereo wideners. And so, uh, Rob or Adrian, uh, I saw this uh, trans pitch setting here. Can you can you kind of maybe give me a? I mean, I mean, I should have read the manual. Uh, but can you kind of tell us what this does, and we can explore that. Uh, we can explore that a little bit, and um, let's just keep going into some more of these um, dry mixes. Let's do some alternate mixes. Um, Alone in the studio, and that brings us up with the the room the room mic. Let's listen to that. Oh, so it's a nice far ambient sound. Man. Now let's go in and, um, yeah. You know, that's what I thought that that did. I thought that's what that did. Uh, so yeah, it's, so it shifts the samples down and transposes them uh, back up. So what I want to do, let's, let's put, um, let's put one of the, um, let's put one of the close mics uh, together. Let's see. Uh, let's go to the uh, the cabinet. Let's go to the cabinet mics. I'm gonna bring just a little bit of the cabinet mics in. Let me bring up that up just a little bit more. Now let's transpose it. Um, oh, oh, it's already okay. So this is already transposed uh, six. Let's go to twelve, and let's hear what that does. And you can see the keyboard is just kind of shifting a little bit when we select different uh, transposing uh, semitones. So this has been transposed uh, down twelve semitones and then shifted back up. Um, yeah. and it gives it a darker sound. Now, what we'll do, now 
that's, uh, I'm gonna turn it off and do a comparison so we can hear what the difference is. Here we go, we're gonna turn this off. Now let's put it on. Yeah. It just makes it a little darker, a little more mysterious. And six is kind of a happy medium between all the way dark and uh, and um, and not dark at all. <laughs> so let's go to uh, dark and cold. And this is using the uh, the electric piano. We've got uh, cabinets and a little bit of reverb there. We've got the vibrato. Let's turn the speed Um, let's go to loud keys and hear that. Yeah, that's just right in right up front. That's so much fun. Okay, let's go. Uh, I love just going and seeing what uh, what we have here. Let's do some delay photocopy, and that's using the muted tone bar texture, which uh, what we were going to get into the textures here in a little bit. Oh, yeah, that's a little quirky. <laughs> And uh, signals. BF, take care. So good to see you. Oh, wow. A little sound design going on. That's pretty cool. And again, you've got this, this weird, dark personality here, and then... Uh... It's really cool how, that, uh, how that's working there. Uh, let's go to running away. Well... That's nice.
So Adrian, yeah, it, because it does feel sometimes you're listening to a Rhodes and then at other times it sounds like a Whirly. And it's, And it's very responsive. So you can hear when I dig into it, it responds. And then if you just lay very softly, it just really responds to you very nicely. Wow, very, very beautiful. Okay, now let's look at the, um, at the textures. Let's go back and look at the textures here. Um, so what we can do, and they've given us so much, so many different things that we can do inside the engine about, um, you know, turning all the key switches on, purging the mics that aren't used. And then we've got the velocity sensitivity here. And, and I just leave it linear. Um, and that's really cool. So let's go to some of the textures. I love having the, um, this ability to have these textures and you can blend these in. Um, it reminds me of the untamed types of things. So this is home piano untamed, I guess, a sort of. And the textures are all derived from the uh, piano sound sources. All you have to do, if you want to combine, you just hold shift and select the, another, another one of the sound sources. Let's see. Ah. Oh, let's see. Okay, so I don't have the, uh, there we go. So let's go back to Apogee. we can blend the texture in. That's really nice. Okay, let's go to another texture. Um, Apollo. Let's ride it down here. That is nice. Now I'm going to turn the mix on and then shift and select um, the soft electric piano. That's kind of glitchy. And even the textures have dynamic layers, it feels like. Wow. And we got 
to just throw throw one of the pianos on there. Um, mix and blend the different colors. The glitchy with the beautiful, it just makes uh, makes it really fun. Joanna. Um. Yeah, I, I agree. You can you just need to do that sometimes, uh, just to try. Oh, yes. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, thanks for reminding me, Rob. So when we go through the textures, we can see, we can see that, um, that there's a little uh, edit and then we can go here and opens up a menu down here where we have more control over the dynamics, the velocity and mod wheel. And so we've got a little more, a little more fine control over the different, um, the different levels. So you just click on that little edit button. So now, we can do texture blends and let's see. Okay, so electric piano and textures. So this is uh, coming home and this has the soft piano and then the, um, the uh, Tupelo, Tupelo texture. Yeah. Yeah, so you can just you can just go crazy. We can even go to textures and uh, select all of them, and it'll it'll pull up all of the textures. And you can go in and edit each one of those with the little edit uh, panels here. Uh, which takes it even further. Beautiful. So let's just do a Tears in the Rain. And we can see we've got all kinds of different textures selected here.
that just gets so low. Have you ever seen a house like this? <laughs> now, there's got to be a movie reference from, for that. Uh, I love uh, how Rob just throws in um, just really cool Easter eggs. atmospheric and uh, with the textures and it takes you into uh, so many different worlds. Yeah, let's just see if we've got uh, one more thing we can take a look at. I like the delayed stuff. Um, the last resort. We've got three textures going. That's so cool. That is so cool. Let's just go back to the, um, yeah, the electric piano. Let's see. Uh, family room. It's just like you're sitting right there. Very beautiful. kinds of different There's the, uh, there's the pedal. <laughs> That's fun. Okay. Live studio. And just listen to the space. You could just really hear how they record. Oh, let's see. I'm going to have to turn the, um, uh, the pedals down. <laughs>
Okay, so that is a little taste of electric home piano from Westwood Instruments, another fantastic instrument. And I want to thank Rob and Adrian and the team from Westwood for uh, sending me a copy to uh, be able to share with all of you. Um, yeah, so, right, so you can shift click and add all of them if you want. Uh, you can just keep stacking the textures up and um, let's see. Beautiful. This is so cool. Yeah, you can just add until your CPU starts calling for mercy. Man, my pleasure. My pleasure, Rob. It is just my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, it is... Um So that's electric home piano, and who wants to win one? Let, we're gonna pull up the Wheel of Fun. And um, thank you, uh, Westwood and Rob, all the guys for uh, providing the prize. I just am so, I'm so amazed and so grateful uh, for all of the love and support um, that uh, the developers and you guys, the community have just shown. It just excites me. I just, I just really enjoy this. So what we'll do, Let's go ahead and fire up the Wheel of Fun, and here we go. We're gonna spin for a copy of the electric home piano, so here we go. <gasps> Kay Jones. Kay Jones is the winner of electric home piano. Congratulations, so I'm gonna make sure um, Make sure I write that down. That's great. That is great. Congratulations. Congratulations, Cade. <clears throat> so let's keep going. Let's keep going. And thanks again, guys. Thanks again, Rob and Adrian. And I can't wait to see what you all are coming up with next. Um, I, I know it's going to be so amazing. Okay, so we're going to have some fun with um, with a, the latest library from Arturia, and they have just added a new uh, addition or a new entry in their augmented series, and this is augmented brass. So it takes the um, it takes It takes acoustic brass orchestral chamber size and then also their synthesis engine. Yeah, so this is a lot of fun. This, uh, so this has the best of both worlds. It has uh, the orchestral side. So they're using chamber size and symphonic size brass and then uh, pulling it in to their advanced uh, synthesis engine. Uh, so we're gonna run through some of the patches here and just explore this. Um, I went ahead and you can see I've got, uh, got some favorites marked here. So what I wanna do, I'm just gonna go ahead and click on the likes so that we can just go through and um, just explore. And I'll sort from, oh, let's sort by type. Yeah, that sounds that sounds good. So let's go to Stratus Horns, and we're just gonna we're just gonna.
blow. We're going to blow through these. <laughs> oh, man. Here we go. You forget it's a synth. CC, well, let's see. Okay, I don't have it assigned. I'm gonna see if I can, um, yeah, let's just morph it. Let's go to the other side, to the synth side. It's really regal. Yeah, listen to what you can morph through the macros. Really nice. And staccato swell. lay into it. Yeah, that's fabulous. Okay, uh, soft sensory. We'll just go through some of these. Definitely not a piano Matthias. Now, I want to see something. Um, I'm going to go to, um, let's go to MIDI and Morph. Let's see. I'm going to go, it's got CC71 assigned. So let's just assign the, um, let's just see if we can assign the mod wheel. Um, okay, so, hmm. Okay, so I'm not, um, I'm not seeing that. Okay, MIDI channel one, and then, okay, it, you know what? It might not let us, um... okay, so I am seeing when I move the XY here, it's moving some of the funny things. So I'm not, I'm not, uh, let's see, let's just, Okay, some reason I'm not getting, um, I'm not getting the MIDI. It's like it's not getting the uh, MIDI CCs here. So we're gonna have to figure that, figure that out. Um, oh, okay, let's see. Yeah, we'll have to figure that out because I would love to have that, um, I would love to have that mod wheel uh, CC1 on that morph control, yeah. Really cool, and okay. So this uh, this is the reverse. So so yeah. So I can either go to the uh, library browser, or I can just click down, and it'll take me to the next one. So this is the reverse Brahm. So here we go. And now let's bring the morph.
It's just got some very crazy texture, textural sounds. It is very unique, Steph, absolutely. Being able to bring those two together, um, this is orchestra. <laughs> because you have the natural sounds and then you have the synthetic. Now let's morph, morph it. Um. we can pop the hood and just see everything going on. We've got, uh, you know, on layer A, you have two different sound sources. You've got a sampler and a synth source on each of the layers. Um, you've got sampler one, sampler two, and then synth one and synth two. That, uh, you know, and if you look, it looks a little familiar. Uh, if you are used to pigments and the way that that operates, um, we've got all sorts of modulation arpeggiators and effects and macros is where we can assign what's going on in around all of these controls around the, the main macro knobs here so let's keep moving down uh, well wow. oh yeah moves it just moves and having all of these other things going on just gives you a lot of control um, so this is longhorn That's fun. Let's keep going. We'll move fast through some of these. Let's just lay into that. Slowly moving that morph. So we've got random trombones and forte piano even. So it's like a brass section and not a brass section at the same time. It's a, it just is the uncanny valley sort of when you, when you're blending the real acoustic instruments with the synth elements. So this is a full brass orchestra.
is amazing. Like, whoa is right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> wow. So let's see if we can get that. Um, so you can see I'm just typing uh, exclamation point and replay, and hopefully uh, it grabs some of these fun clips um, that we're seeing. Yeah, it's just uh, incredible. So this is endless, uh, endless recollection. So it can be really majestic. We've got it by type. Let's go ahead and do it by type. Um, let's go to, um, oh man, it's just like there's so much. It's just like you're looking at a candy store. Uh, so sound effects, this is uh, sound, okay. Flux, flux meeting. Uh, this is called flux meeting. And let's see what we've got. We've got some um, baked brass and flutter modular, like some modular synthesis going on. Um, wow. Okay, here we go. Let's just check this out. Oh. Oh, yeah, this is the one that, yeah. Staccato, it, it, it doesn't do the drop. It does sound like a little bit like Andor, uh, Frank. Yeah. And the thing is, they're converging. They're just kind of crossing over. Um... Listen to that. Yeah, Justin, that is true. They actually wrote an orchestral score for the THX theme. Uh, that is so cool. Um, that is so cool. The procession. <laughs> it's It can get very dark and uh, and moody uh, metamorphism this is got more of a, a beat and 
this is where we get into um, the effects It's just so deep. You can explore so many of these different layers. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Minor funky sequence. Okay, I'm gonna bring the tempo down. Let's go to 90. And it's using the chord function. It's triggering a chord every once in a while. It'll trigger the chord in the arpeggiator. That's fun. Uh, let's see, Brass Dreamland. <laughs> That's fun. And Arrival, Arrival, this is like a pad or an atmosphere. Oh, yeah. Wow. Got a little um so you can play like the Night of the Fireflies, that's, um, let's see. It's surprising what uh, the variety of sounds that they're able to do. I've got all of these favorites and you just don't know where to go next. <laughs> oh, well. Dub trumpet. This is kind of fun, I think. Yeah, it's got a little dirty synth. Yeah, it's 
little, got some splat on it. Um, okay. Oh, breasts and honey. Um, breasts and honey. Oh, thank you so much, Matthias. Uh, let's see. Uh, Oh, let's see. Um, oh, let me see. Brass and Honey, Brass and Honey, the, the title just triggered this, uh, this older Herb Alpert. Um, it's just got that. It's just got that splat, but, and then the room. And then, yeah. Let's do a couple more. That's a lot of fun. That's a lot of fun. <laughs> okay, let's um, let's go to um, well, a fate befalls you, and you look at the library and the presets, and they've just done so much inside there. Oh, this is sounds cool. Just the modulation engine. Just so much you can do with these. just got that vibe. And we'll bring the morph back over here. Wow. 
so that is a little sampling of augmented brass, and I'm excited. I just love sharing these. They they pull you in. These uh, the sounds just kind of reach out and just pull you in to these amazing worlds. So you didn't know we had 3D going here. So <laughs> so let's uh, let's go ahead and give this away to somebody. Uh, so thanks to Arturia for sending this to me and allowing me to share it with you. I just am so grateful once again. Can't tell you how grateful I am. I just, uh, wow. So here we go. So we're gonna spin for a, a copy of Augmented Brass and we've got one more thing to show you and I'm very excited about that as well. So here we go, three, two, one, go. Okay, so I think I can, um, I think I can tell who who this is because they've got their YouTube channel name. So that's incredible. So we've got uh, Parallel Zero. Uh, so I think that's what that is. Parallel Zero. Okay, congratulations, congratulations. That is a lot of fun. Okay, so last but not least, and I know um, and it's just uh, it's just been so much fun uh, to be with you guys today. Just got one more beautiful thing to show you. And um, last but not least, this is the latest from music sampling. And this is the, um, okay. Okay, so it's Rodrigo. Ah, okay. So... <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, because I I'll have that in the spreadsheet, but I'll I'll write this down. So congratulations, man! <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> so here we go. So this is um, a beautiful. It's like a legato uh, style. It's for it's just softer, um, and it's it's just got some beautiful tones, and we're going to just explore together. So here we go. I'm gonna just close out this and well, so I'm gonna to go to, uh, oh, let's see. Let's see, what did, I, what did I do that on? Yeah, so I've got a little surprise we're gonna, um, I'm gonna show you later, but let's, um, let's pull up, pull this up. So it, you, do, um, you do need the full version of contact for, for this library and and I went ahead and loaded it into my uh, snapshot. Uh, well, hey, listen, I can do it this way. I can do it this way. I think I can. Yeah. So we've got different um, different styles. We've got. Let's just go ahead and just pull up the uh, the master uh, legato patch here. And this this is like the highlight of this library. <laughs> And I am going to uh, turn the reverb down a little bit. It's got a built-in reverb, so let's just turn it down. And that's the only control that we have. Uh, we can assign the, le the legato speed to something, and currently it's set to the mod wheel. But this will blend uh, the reverb. I'm just going to turn it off just so we can kind of hear. And you can see if I play disconnected notes, now, if I hold, if I connect the note, and if I play velocities between one and 40, it's gonna trigger that slide. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but it's beautiful. And then the mod wheel controls how fast that transition happens. So all the way down, And then all the way up, it's fast. Almost immediate. I kind of keep it in the, in the middle. But having that control allows you to really get into some very nice expressive possibilities. If you go over 
um, if you go over a certain velocity, it does trigger the hammer-ons. So, um, so I'm, let me just look real quick. So, so the velocity is 41 to 90 is just the range, the normal plane range. And velocity is 91 to 127 will activate the slide uh, that's uh, without the pluck at the end, but it's like a hammer-on. It's treated like a hammer-on or a pull-off. And velocities one through 40 will trigger that slide uh, that'll glide to that target note. So that's uh, how they have that kind of set up. I, I think it's really interesting because they, they to me, it's like a no-nonsense type of interface. You just pull it up and play it. just that speed. And let's just take a look at some of the other articulations that are available. That's a, you know, legato, so it's just, you just play one note at a time and then connect the notes. And it's just like any other instrument, you've got to just kind of get under the hood and know uh, how it responds. So we can we can do the sustains. got a beautiful tone. Now let's check out a couple of more of the articulations there. Uh, we've got uh, harmonics. And let's just hear it without the reverb. Very nice and dry. Very beautiful. And then you can just layer these articulations with other instances of uh, contact to just have access to those. Uh, I'm just curious if the tremolo is tempo sync. So I've got 126, let's go to eight. No, so it's not. So it's not tempo synced. So I'll put it back at 126. That's really nice. Okay, so let's, um, let's just check out a few more of the presets. Um, auras. So auras have, uh, they're like textures. Um, they're like pads. It's neat to have that, have that element in a classical guitar library. Or and let's see, ah, uh, here we go. And we can use the key switches to go between. That's a nice bonus to have. Ooh, very beautiful. And you can layer these, you can use these auras as a bed and then play over top of that. That's gorgeous. Okay, let's see. I think that's it. And CC1 let you uh, let you do that. Let you blend between the two. 
uh, the, the volumes or the dynamics of it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we've got fret noises. And all of those little elements you can lay in to your sequence and add just a little bit of realism. And you've got some guitar percussion. Yeah. Let's turn the... Um, Just little different knocks and stuff that you can kind of flavor. Let's see what we've got. Uh, oh, that's cool. So just different fun elements like that. I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back. Um, I'm going to go back to the um, to the legato here. And let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Yes, Steph, that's interesting. So what I did, I, I mean, I I love uh, when I when I first heard the um, <laughs> when I first heard the sustains. When I first heard the sustains, it just immediately took me to one of my favorite artists, and that's, uh, of course, Antonio Carlos Jobim. And this is what it took me to. It took me uh, to the recording that he did with Frank Sinatra. And so I thought I would just do a little fun um, rendition of, um, of the girl from Eponema. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, let's get my drums going here. Uh, this is... Um, this is Groove Agent, and I love using Groove Agent. This is a this is this is not even available anymore, but I love it because I can get quickly to a really cool bossa nova very quickly. And so um, I also laid down um, a bass using. Uh, let's see, let's see if we can get this. Um, yeah, so. I've got pluck, so I laid down a bass guitar and and the sustains with nylon rustique, and we're gonna just take a little ride. Uh, we're gonna take a little ride. Are you ready? So here we go. And I'm just gonna play the melody with. Um, okay, I'm gonna close this. Yeah, I love Pluck. If you if Pluck is another music sampling product and that you can check out. So the bass, the bass and the sustains are gonna be in these two tracks, and I'm gonna play over top with the, uh, the lead here. So here we go. You ready? Here we go. Oh, let's see. Turn off the metronome.
That is so cool. Uh, <laughs> that is so cool. And then there's just one more. There's just one more. And I just love the, um, again, I love the sustains. I love the sustains. It's wonderful. That's my new thing. I'm playing around with the, um, <laughs> oh, with the new Rev, uh, Rev 24. So let's see, let's get a, let's pull up a vocal. Um, let's put up a nice vocal plate here. Well, it's, well, it's, well, it's wonderful. Here we go. It's wonderful, it's marvelous. That you should care for me. Well, it's awfully nice. Paradise, how I long. To be your kisses make make me feel glamorous <laughs> I can't help but be amorous it's wonderful marvelous that you should care for me you make my life so glamorous I can't help but feeling amorous it's wonderful marvelous that you should care for me it's wonderful it's marvelous that you Thank you guys so much. What of another fabulous, so, so wonderful, marvelous live stream. And thank you guys so much. Oh, let's give one of, let's give uh, Nylon Rustique away to one of you guys on the Wheel of Fun. So let's pull it up. And um, well, it's fabulous. Thank you guys so much. This is so much fun. Um, I love being able to do this and spend 
time together and enjoying exploring all of these beautiful instruments and having so much fun. Yeah. So here we go. One of you guys are on the wheel of fun. It's going to take one of these home uh, with you uh, soon. So here we go. Um, three, two, one, let's go. <laughs> okay, okay, so let's do it again. Let's do it again. Okay, there we go. Clara uh, Coxby. Coxby. So um, thank you. Congratulations. And so I'll be in contact with all of our winners. And um, yes, I'll be in contact with all of our winners. And um, wow, what an amazing, amazing day. So uh, until next time, this is Simeon with PraiseTracks.com. And thank you all so much. Okay, so those of you that are still here, I do want to share something really fun. Um, and this has been something I, I've been waiting to do for a long time. And that is, uh, I'm going to um, gonna go visit the Oscar Mayer Wienermobile tomorrow um, after, you know, tomorrow's gonna be a very interesting day. Uh, and so the reason why is that I am going to, um, I'm gonna sample it. Um, I'm gonna sample it. So I've got a little Zoom H2 recorder. And um, and I've got my weenie whistle, and I'm going to see if I can get some more weenie whistles, maybe to send out to some of you guys. Um, so I'm going to see if they'll start the start the motor. I might try to sample the motor, uh, sample the horn, sample some things, and create an, a free instrument out of it, um, and uh, make that available. So that's um, that's going to be that's going to be a lot of fun. So. Of course, there are going to be pictures and and fun things, so um, so I can't wait. Uh, I can't wait to show you that. I can't wait to experience that, um, to sample it, to actually sample it and be able to share an instrument with with all of you guys. So, um, wow. Okay, what a beautiful day. Yeah, Nigel, that's that's the plan. That's the plan is to uh, make it available like on Piano Book um, and um, just see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. So until next time, I just pray that you all are blessed. Um, pray that um, that things are going well and that you find honey in the rock and that most of all, that uh, you stay joyful that you stay joyful uh, in the midst of whatever you're going through, uh, because you know what? That's the thing, we're going through it. So until next time, uh, this is Simeon, and I can't wait to see you next time. So we're gonna crank up the music and play you out of here, and stay joyful, and we'll see you next time. All right, let's do it. All right, see you next time. <laughs>